Bacalar, Mexico is renowned for its stunning lagoon, often referred to as the Lake of Seven Colors. The lagoon's mesmerizing shades of blue and turquoise are attributed to its crystal clear waters, sandy bottom, and the varying depths of its cenotes, but more on that later. It's sometimes referred to as the Maldives of Mexico, making it one of Mexico's top trending destinations. It's no surprise tourism has recently grown 20%. Come for a short trip from Tulum or Belize to relax. Bacalar is a haven for ecotourism enthusiasts, offering a wide range of activities such as kayaking, bird watching, and hiking in the surrounding nature reserves. Visitors can immerse themselves in the region's diverse ecosystems, from mangrove forests to tropical rainforests, and experience the beauty of Bacalar's natural surroundings. Bacalar is known for its art scene, with painted murals around every corner and local-made artisanal crafts available for purchase. If you're looking for unique pieces, this is the place to visit. Of course, we have to mention the food scene. If you're looking for affordable and authentic tacos, definitely try Mr. Taco. I'd recommend the coconut shrimp at La Playita. If you eat here, you'll have access to the lagoon, but make sure to get there early for dinner as the tables fill up quickly. If you'd like more on this, check out my Bacalar walking tour video. In addition to its famous lagoon, Bacalar is home to a network of underground rivers and 6,000 cenotes, or natural sinkholes, that are perfect for swimming, snorkeling, and diving. These cenotes are not only breathtakingly beautiful, but also hold cultural and ecological significance for the region. Definitely don't miss a short day trip to Los Rapidos. More on that in the video linked right here. Bacalar has a rich history of fending off pirates during the colonial era. The city's strategic location along the Caribbean Sea made it a target for pirate raids. The Spanish conquistadors were drawn to Bacalar's allure, seeing it as a golden opportunity for expansion and domination. They aim to exploit the region's abundant natural resources and impose their cultural and religious beliefs on the indigenous population. Bacalar is surrounded by ancient Mayan archeological sites open to the public, offering a glimpse into the fascinating history and culture of the Maya civilization. Of course, we can't forget to mention the ancient population of stromatolites, which are living fossils that look like rocks. Amazingly, they predate humans, dinosaurs, and even plants. Their existence is now being threatened by us humans, and here's why. An explosion of tourism comes with some downsides. The rapid urbanization and tourism development can lead to environmental degradation, including pollution of the lagoon. Sadly, this can actually alter the gorgeous teal color Deforestation and animal habitat destruction are also at risk. Efforts to balance tourism growth with sustainable environmental practices are crucial to preserving Bacalar's natural beauty. We can minimize damage to natural habitats and ancient stromatolites by remembering not to wear sunscreen in the lagoon, by following designated trails and paths, by disposing of waste properly, and by recycling whenever possible. Avoid single-use plastics and bring reusable items such as a shopping bag and a reusable water bottle with a built-in filter. If you must buy bottled water, try to buy gallon jugs to minimize your impact. Choose accommodations, tour operators, and restaurants that prioritize sustainability whenever possible. Refrain from feeding or disturbing animals in their natural habitat. Be mindful of water usage. Opt for eco-friendly activities such as kayaking, snorkeling, or bird watching that have minimal impact on the environment. Respect wildlife and observe from a distance. Together, we can protect and preserve the beauty that Bacalar offers for generations to come.